everyone, Susan Brady here. So you haven't heard from me for a while because I've actually been dealing with an interesting new health issue, um, something that I knew very little about until six weeks ago. And I wanted to share it with you because I want to bring awareness to the syndrome. So I developed something called alpha gall syndrome which is a type of food allergy to mammal meats, as well as products made from mammals. So I became allergic to meats like beef and pork and lamb, as well as products made from these animals like bone broths, collagens, gelatins, and for me, even dairy products. And so for someone who consumed bone broths and collagen on a daily basis, I was actually quite shocked when one day, out of the blue, these foods started making me sick. So you develop this alpha gal allergy after being bitten by a tick, and it's most commonly the lone star tick, but there is some thought that other types of ticks carry it as well, and so do chiggers. And what alpha gal is, is a sugar molecule, the galactose alpha 1-3 galactose sugar molecule, or alpha gal for short. And the sugar molecule is found in most mammals, but it is not found in humans. And what happens is that when you get bitten by this tick, it injects this alpha gal sugar molecule into your bloodstream. This then causes an immune reaction and your body in response produces antibodies to this alpha gal sugar. Then when you eat these particular animals or are exposed to products made from these animals containing the alpha gal sugar, your body responds by having an allergic reaction. Now, everyone's allergic reaction is different. Um, I woke up one morning covered in hives. And from what I read, hives and rashes are fairly common with this allergy. I experienced times when my lips and my tongue and my throat all swelled up. I also developed severe indigestion. And in some people, they can develop anaphylaxis, which can be life-threatening. So, you know, this, this is something that needs to be taken seriously. Um, now, this allergy is often hard to diagnose because the reactions often show up several hours after exposure. So it's not an immediate cause and effect like a peanut allergy or a shellfish allergy, which tend to happen pretty quickly after you consume the food. So it can be hard to link what you ate six or seven hours ago to the symptoms that you're having now. And what I'm finding as I learn more about this condition, it's not just about staying away from meat and dairy, it's avoiding products with the alpha gall containing additives or coatings such as gelatin and glycerin and magnesium stearate, bovine ex extracts, which are all frequently found in supplements. And there are also many medications and vaccines that can have this alpha gall sugar molecule in it as well. So for instance, Armour Thyroid, which is a natural thyroid medication, and it's made from pig's gland. So anyone with an alpha gall reaction is going to react to this medication. There's also a cancer drug called Cetuximab, and it contains the alpha gall sugar. And what's interesting about this cancer drug is that it was in the cancer oncology world with the use of this drug where they first started recognizing and diagnosing alpha gal syndrome. And what the oncologists were finding was that their patients who lived in North Carolina and Tennessee, areas where the lone star tick is prevalent, these were the patients that were having allergic reactions to this cancer drug. And then through more research, they discovered that what the patients were reacting to was the alpha gal sugar in the medication. Alpha gal is relative, a relatively new syndrome, a new diagnosis. And if you're like me and love to spend time outdoors in nature, walking in the woods and hiking, building my bones, you need to be even more wary about tick bites now because not only do ticks potentially carry Lyme and Rocky Mountain fever, but also now 
may carry alpha gal, And so you need to take the extra steps necessary to prevent tick bites as well as ticks coming in on your pets. So I'm on this new journey now, <clears throat> learning more about alpha gal. I'm avoiding all foods and products that may contain this sugar, reading every food label before I consume something, taking steps to heal my gut, make sure my gut microbiome is healthy because any food allergy can take a toll on your gut microbiota, which then can have systemic implications like bone loss. So luckily, many of the foods that I enjoy on a daily basis, like fish and chicken and vegetables and nuts and seed products and whole grains are perfectly safe for me to eat. So I won't be withering away anytime soon. But again, I just wanted to make you aware of alpha gall syndrome because many have not heard of it. And if you think you might have it, maybe you have odd rashes or hives or odd symptoms, um, reactions, there is a blood test for it. And, um, and you can certainly reach out to me and I'd be happy to guide you on how I went about uncovering this um, syndrome in myself and how I went about getting diagnosed. So please don't hesitate to reach out. And I hope you all have a great day and stay healthy out there.